Oh, candles and balloons filled Wilkesbury this evening, held by those who honored the lives of the two women that were cut short. Many came to pay tribute to both Fox and Cuevas, regardless of their relationship to them. 2822 News reporter Emily Allegrucci was at that vigil. She joins us now live in the studio with more. Emily. Good evening, Andy and Candace. It was certainly an emotional night in Wilkesbury as people filled Public Square to remember the two women. Community and family members alike stood together to say goodbye to Fox and Cuevas. This is the most horrific thing that has happened in Wilkesbury. I've been living in this area for 53 years. This is the most horrific thing that has ever happened. Dozens of community members gathered on Public Square in Wilkesbury Friday night to acknowledge the brutal murder of Nicole Cuevas and the ongoing investigation into the death of Deborah Fox. How about we do a moment of silence for these ladies? Although not everyone at the candlelit vigil knew both women, they still paid tribute to their lives that were cut short. People lost their lives, two people that didn't deserve to lose their lives. Family members lost their mom, family members lost their sister. There was no need for it, none. Fox's daughters held their candles high for their mother as they continued to wait for answers regarding her death. They also paid respect to Cuevas, who they say they briefly got to know. Met Nikki only once. And Nikki was a nice person when I met her. It's a shame that she had to go out the way she did, and so did my It was a shame for my mom, too. It's a good turnout, at least. I'm glad that they turned out and showed the support for us and my mom and Nikki. They both didn't deserve this at all. All who attended were given the chance to say a few words in honor of both Fox and Cuevas. I really hope that nobody ever, ever goes through this or anything else again because these were really really tragic way they went. The evening gave the community the chance to let go. Rest in peace, ladies! And hope for one thing. Justice. Justice. The vigil was also live streamed for the family of Cuevas who live in Michigan, giving them the chance to grieve with the community. Andy and Candace. Thank you, Emily.